BC7 here, and welcome back to the channel. We're having another look at this wonderful ship simulator, and I thought, well, rather than uh, walk in on the middle of the show, we'd start right from the beginning. So here's our opening screen, and we have Lydia Blythe Smith, an investor, who, uh, well, <laughs> believe it or not, is willing to lend us 8.2 million euro. Yeah. There's a reason she looks as mean as she does. <laughs> and this guy, on the other hand, ooh, look at the old bank account go up. Hiram T. Witherspoon is our consultant. He's going to help us out. He thinks he owns the place. But, hey. So, we get to enter a name for our company. Well, we'll go with, uh, whoops. <laughs> Uh, we should be wearing our glasses. There we go. And we will create a company. And where are we going to operate from? Now, yeah, location, location. He, he just gives us tips. Now, each of these, if you mouse over them, and give them a little click. We'll come up with lists. Okay, these are the types of ships that can be built and handled at that port. All right, feeders are your smallest. Um, you get into the Panamaxes and the post Panamaxes. They're gradually these get bigger. Let's just say. And these are the export commodities. Advantages: 25% off repair duration. So, some of the ports have nothing on the advantages because they're basically, they'll handle everything, they have real high-end exports, and they're in a position where basically you can buzz around different ports so quick that you can make a lot of money really fast. And you, it's all give and take. Way down Port Said, again, no global advantages because you've got this entire inner area here and it handles every ship, lots of high-end. It also handles lots of counterfeit and questionable. Now, I'm not sure if questionable goods will get you uh, arrested, but counterfeit definitely will. <laughs> so, where I actually like to start, because it has probably the best advantages, and I'm not exactly a pro at this. Um, see, this one, Dublin is pretty good. You get 10% off on ship sales prices. Now that may not seem a big thing, but when your cheapest ship used, like in 60% condition, is around $8 million, there's an $800,000 saving. Right there. Yeah. And 5% off repair costs. They're very expensive if you crack something up. But I'm going to start where I did last time, way up here in Reykjavik, Iceland because I've been to Greenland and it's icy and apparently if you go to Iceland it's nice and green so we're gonna start in Iceland now, actually we're gonna start here because you get plus 20 percent on post and parcel contract prices these a uh, really good way to gain reputation so it's kinda like a double bonus you get minus 20 percent on tug assistance so it only costs you 80k to use a tug instead of a hundred thousand and you get a minus 20 percent on subsidiary subsidiary yeah, subsidiary costs subsidiary sorry help if I spoke English I suppose it is sort of my first language um, so it has some really nice advantages the disadvantages all it can handle is the very early ships so once we get into a bigger class of ship uh, like the Panamaxes etc we'll kind of have to maybe get ourselves a second headquarters. So here we are. Being important for, well, the one day that we actually have eight million dollars in our pocket, we get a helicopter ride. We're killed horribly as we crash into the dock crane, but and here we go. And we float towards the pad, and surprise, surprise, the part you all really want to see, you won't get to. Seriously. <laughs> I didn't do that either. Ah, Reykjavik. It's supposed to be quite nice here for tourists, that is. But for a newbie in the container shipping business, oh well, not my problem. <laughs> do you actually have any ships in your fleet? Well, you know what, guys? We don't. Ooh, the tone is slowly getting tense, Chief. Not a good idea to joke around with her. You think, buddy, have you looked at her? 
There are three models to choose from at the wharf right now. The investor has thrown in enough money for us to afford one of the three. So, um, would you like an introduction to the game? I've done the tutorial, but like I said, I want to show you guys the whole show, so sure, let's throw that in. On the lower bar, click on the Buy Ship Menu. Ba -ba. Here we go. Now we can look at the ship specs. These are feeders, the smallest, right? Etc. Etc. You guys could read the rest of it. Yeah, this ship can carry. Here's your big stat. Okay, this is the tonnage this puppy can carry. The more tonnage you can carry, the more money you're gonna make, right? Well, the more you can make if you want to fill it up. Then it lists your speed, and he goes on to tell you that. It also lists the maximum range in days with a full tank. Okay. Um, but that's also at max power, and uh, we'll show you that. Uh, there's your condition of the vessel and the price. So you should now have all you need to buy a ship. Which one are you going to take? Well, this one is a safer bet because it gives you a little bit of leeway. We only have 8.2 million. So this is only going to leave us a couple hundred thousand. This is only going to leave us next to nothing. And this will leave us about half a mil. So, that's not bad. Um, she does 15 knots. That's pretty quick. Um, she's got 12 days at max. She's in 60%, but she'll only carry 140 ton. Now, this one will only carry 40 ton more, but that's a good percentage. It won't stay at sea as long. It's a little better shape, but I'm going to be cheap. I am going to start, last time I actually started with the medium, but we're going to go with the old speed vessel here. And we will buy that. Do you really want to buy it? Yes, please. There we go. Now you have to christen your ship. Alrighty. Uh, I don't want to call it that. Anna Maria, Black Mary, Starline, hmm. Oh, I had such a good one the last time, man. Hmm. There we go, good enough. Uh, go make some money, yeah, 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 bye-bye. So now, let's uh, go to our contracts. Textiles, okay. Yeah, and then they'll go through and show the different prices. Yes, I do. Dead weight, okay. That's what we're gonna make. All right. Oh. Now, except, oh, here we go, except, except, okay, our first contract, list of loaded contracts, okay, click cast off, and at this point, oh, sorry guys, they don't give you the choice, okay, the little window did not come up to say, hey, <laughs> you know, you, uh, Manual and automatic, that's kind of grayed out. So, we need to uh, go to a certain point. I believe Lisbon is where the trip was. Oh, look, Lisbon. So, yeah, it tells you up here, if you're ever wondering, your loaded contracts. So, that's the port we need to get to. Okay. So, the destination is entered in the log. Now, we can give the order to cast off. So, and again, they don't ungray this. So, first time around, you got to do it. It's going to take us 17 days. So, let's cast off. Reykjavik. Inhabitants, 121,000. Morning, landlubbers. How you steer a barge? Alright, well, you guys can all sped red these pages. <laughs> okay. Now, we look at our mini-map, we can see... As 
soon as you tap the WASD, or basic steerage by the way, and pretty much as soon as you tap either the W or the S, the camera will swing 180 degrees. So again, we are in our closest focus, we can go out as far as here. Okay. So, I'm just going to give us one more knot, get us booging along a little bit here. And keep in mind that because of the way these things are set up, they are going to move from the rear. This does not steer like a car. There we go. See the rear swinging out? Now, if we'd tried to turn away from the dock when we were still as close as we were, we would have slammed the back end into the dock, and that would have pretty much been all she wrote. You'll see this Canada and beyond, and that was my old shipping company. That's the one we were playing the last time. Pick up a little bit of speed, see if I can beat my old score. <laughs> yeah, straighten out the bum by going a little bit the other way. And perfect straight line, there we go. Now we should be able to take her right up. Five knots, ooh. Only another 40 seconds. 30. Oh yeah, we're gonna make her. Plenty of time. Look at that, we beat our old score. Isn't progress wonderful? Or I guess rather practice. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say, if you want to play, practice. If you want to win, practice harder. There we go, we're in. We uh, knew best time. Yes, it is. No damage. Alright, wonderful. The ship is now departing and will automatically deliver all of its contracts when it arrives at the destination port. You can fast forward time at the top of the screen or you can press the 2 on your keyboard. And they kind of want you to do that. There we go. So, you can stop time by using the pause or just simply pressing the space bar. Menus also stop time, by the way. You mainly want to really worry in harbors, because you do get charged for sitting there. Alright, that's it. That uh, That's the tutorial, guys. So, from here on, you are, as he says, you're on your own. So, uh-oh. And she's just letting us know that, yeah, that 8.2, she wants it back in big chunks real soon. Okay. So, let's come off of our pause menu. You, over here, you got your fuel price, Africa, Europe, and you can sort of see right now it's below the standard. We've got Port Said, at least is, uh, Algiers is not, and in Europe, if you're looking, the best price right now is in St. Petersburg. So there you go. Gives you kind of a list of all of them. And then you got your list of ships, and uh, yeah, eventually that'll be bigger. So here we go. Hit the space bar, and away our little ship goes. As you can see by the yellow area on it, we don't have a lot of cargo on board, eh? No. <laughs> As well, if we click on this, it does give us this option. Now, this option, I can crank this up, and at the cost of fuel, I can shave time off of our trip. We don't need to, though. This was not timed, and we were here in plenty of time. There we go. Voyager is ready to dock. To get to the docking menu, you simply go in here. And we are, of course, going to dock manually. Your first run, you don't really want to be throwing a hundred grand at the toy, right? I mean, yeah, when you look up and you've got millions and millions or even billions in your account. Okay. That's a different story. When you first start out, that can cut most of your profits right out of the game. So I'm not sure what they've got here for a dock. You Unfortunately, you can't um, pivot the camera either. You can simply zoom out. Uh, there we go, that would have been nice to have seen a little sooner. 
I know this part's just a little bit painful, guys, but one must expect when you are playing with toys of this magnitude, your play is going to last and last. A little bit sharp. I've never been into this port with my other player, apparently, or my old walkthrough. Yeah, you know what I mean. Don't listen to what I say. <laughs> oh, that might be a bit much. Tiny bit. There we go. Let's get us towards it. I could speed up a little bit, but again, this early on, if you bash this sucker against the dock, good luck paying for it. You know, we're currently sitting with about 600k. We've got docking fees coming up, we've got to refill our tank, and count on a profit from this trip. So... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now we should be able to come in here nice and tight. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Slide over there, darling. She's a big girl. Come on, why are you not docked? Okay, uh, apparently... I was too close. I actually thought I was supposed to be that close, but yeah. I guess not. So there you are. Bad. Very bad. Yeah. And I'm not going to be able to do that from there, I'm afraid. So. Sorry about that guys, did not mean to mess the entire thing up there. Hopefully I haven't done too terribly much damage. I thought, uh, I thought it would be alright to be in that snug. But, now I know. They want you dead center in that box or don't play the game. <laughs> Good for them. what we want. That was just terrible, my god. First day out we managed to bang the sucker off the wall. Not impressed. Not impressed. Yeah, the reason I didn't stop right away is because I thought we were far enough into the shell that it would give it to me, but no, we were in too tight. Too tight to the dock. They were not going to give it to us. I'm not too far away this time. No, I think that should do it. Now I should be able to get a little bit of tilt on here. Get level out. There we go. Yuck, we did 3% damage. 
two percent more and they would have docked it for us and then we would have had to pay an extra fee on top of repairs so we so we spent 45 grand or 44.5 in fuel we spent that repair is going to cost us 90 grand but we did make good news uh, 248,000. So we made a quarter million dollars delivering those textiles. So there we go. That. Okay. I'm a new, uh, I can take you guys through the rest of this. Okay. Better reputation, a second ship, and a company contract, more capital. Alright. Okay. Um, I thought I just told you guys to bug it off. <laughs> Thank you. So there we are. We are, uh, and currently we're paused. Thank goodness, because if we weren't paused, of course, it would be costing us 10000 a day. So this is actually a cheap place. But there you go, guys. That's sort of their initial tutorial mission. As you can see, we went from, yeah, 59% to 56 Now... I can do repairs. We have a million bucks. I may just do that actually. Um, let's see if I can't get back up to 63, 65, hmm? 270,000 four days. So that's actually going to cost us 310,000 because it's going to be four days worth of dock fees. And there we go, it took that away. Now we need to go to normal time. Oh, sorry, just hit the space bar. Three. Two. One. There we go. And we're back to pause, and yes, new contracts are available. Up here, this tells us this is the contract. Um, one that she was talking about, these are deadline contracts, and when you look at the contract, there'll be two numbers. Um, the estimated amount of days, and the on-time delivery. And that's where you really gotta watch that your ship is actually quick enough to make those deliveries. And then you got here, build a positive reputation. So these are sort of the two quests we have going right now. But that's going to end it for this one, guys. We will be back with the second one, where we will start picking up contracts for ourselves. And, uh... There we go. There. Now it's completely... I was wondering why we hadn't actually gone up in a percentage. I needed to go one more day. So yeah, anyways, there we go. Next time around, we will pick up some more contracts. we still got almost a million bucks, which isn't too bad. And uh, we'll see if we can't make that several. So, till then, hope you enjoyed the series. Please leave a thumbs up, a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Leave a comment, let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. It's what I should do in the future. Till then, guys, take care of each other. This has been Species 7, and ciao for now.